Good morning. It is a Saturday morning. I mean, I guess almost afternoon. It's 11.21 and I have a lot of work to do. I actually have office hours to go to in eight minutes. Um, so I looked over some of my problems for my homework and I fully don't understand some of them, like what they're asking. So hopefully get some of that stuff cleared up and yes that is where we're starting i just finished my first week of classes so i'm still going through that weird adjustment period where like before school started i was totally chill about everything like living life but now i feel like i've just been dunked in like a tub of ice water and i feel kind of paralyzed <laughs> so i'm hoping being able to do a lot of work today is gonna help me like get back in the groove for the quarter and also just in general help me get used to working during this time of virtual classes and zoom sessions even though no one's gonna see me whenever i put on a lip tint i feel like 10 times more confident i need that confidence right now when i'm doing my homework mm, like i thought cute as heck okay that makes sense so To be honest, I'm kind of getting uncomfy that in some shots it looks like I don't have pants on. So I'm gonna put on a pair of pants. Um, I have shorts on, but it just looks really weird. And I'm trying to get a shot so you guys can see me like write down my notes and stuff. And this is what it looks like. I don't think this is gonna work. You know what? There. Oh wow! It just it works. It just looks terrible. I'm getting frustrated. I'm gonna turn on some music and just let my brain simmer with the problems. So basically my study playlist has a lot of BTS piano covers, gaming, background music, including a lot of Maple Story background music. Um, all I'm saying is that it really slaps. Didn't work again. Back to the drawing board. Okay, so y'all missed it because my camera died and I had to charge y'all for a second. But I solved number four. It's very exciting. So now I have two out of four problems done. And now I'm just trying to get up the energy to start number one. I can, I can tackle number one. I can do it. It's stretchy time. See if I can get any back cracks. And then I just get like. For number one, I have to give a proof, so it's gonna be very righty and kinda sad. Also, number one turns out is like three whole questions, so. Mm. I think I solved one A, but there's also one B and one C. So. That's how it's going. So I got part 1A and I typed it up and I got part C and I also typed that up. So we're really trying it out here. I'm going to eat with the rents and I'll be back to study. so much food i will say that i feel like i need a little bit of time to digest so i'm gonna spend um a couple minutes on the phone mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe later tonight i'm gonna bake some brownies that sounds like a really good idea mainly just because an entire day of working isn't great you know if you're ever in the need of study inspiration i 100 percent recommend watching legally blonde the scenes where l is studying super hard to get into harvard law school i don't know what it is but there's something about that scene that i 100 percent love and every time i see it it just motivates me to be like i can do anything 
I don't know why sometimes I distract myself with bad dance moves, but this is 100% something I do if I'm alone. And that's why I have to go to the library when I'm at school to study, because then I will be pressured into not doing weird things with my body. Oh my god, you've been going for that long? I'm sorry. Move my chair to the window for some change in scenery. I got it, bros. Wow, I'm so happy. To put it simply, I am the fool because I thought that I got the question, but I didn't. Wait. Hmm, now that's my deal with that. Okay, hold the phone, hold the phone now, okay? So I can do, oh my God. <laughs> I think I got it. <laughs> Wow, I feel like I just looked so extra just then, but I'm very happy. I'm so happy. I'm so stupid. Distributive property is very important, okay? The thing about, again, about these problems is that you feel lost 99% of the time. Um, and then like that last 1% when you find the answer literally feels so good. I feel like I'm on top of the world and I can do anything right now. So now I'm looking into my painting homework. I just find it harder to find time to paint during the week just because then if I paint it during the week, I'm usually stressed about homework that I have coming up and then it just becomes like stress painting, like painting just to finish rather than the actual use of me taking painting, which is more like painting to relax and explore this whole new area that I'm really not skilled at but would like to see some work on. Let's look at what I have to do. Build a folded form out of cardboard for a painting. Cut a tri okay, so from what I'm understanding, I am going to take a piece of cardboard and I'm going to make it into some kind of artful shape and then paint it. You know, I'm just gonna start cutting and like, I don't know, maybe something cool will happen. Maybe not. <laughs> and you know what? That'll be okay too. Ah uh, yes, I'll just fold it there. Nice. <laughs> this is like not going well. <laughs> To be painting this guy this is my cardboard form that i have expertly created um and i'm gonna focus on this shape in here the assignment description basically just said to make it kind of abstract and like zoom in on some place let's just let's just have at it like all right so they told me to first do like a more transparenty brown okay so i Put down some yellow ochre, which is something that I heard Bob Ross say a lot in my youth. So I really feel like I'm connecting with him. Why did I think this would work? This isn't orange. Hold on, maybe it'll turn out to be brown. <laughs> I mixed like this dark yellow with a blue and it just occurred to me that yellow and blue don't make brown. Uh, yeah, it's like green. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm gonna add some red. This definitely looks red to me. I mixed the green into my reddish brown and now it's too green <laughs> it's okay actually it's looking pretty brown if i do say so myself and i've seen browns you know okay Linda. don't get ahead of yourself i'm just kind of guessing at you know shapes and whatnot <laughs> yeah yeah i can still save this i can still save this i did not mix the colors right this is the brown and then i didn't realize how dark it was at first but now that i'm seeing it in better light uh here let me turn on the light i've already started over once this was oh, whoops this was what you guys saw before this is what you're seeing now this is when i messed up the color right now uh i'm just working on the first layer so unfortunately you won't be seeing the complete thing being done today i don't think so I guess, he also said that if like it's the deepest or darkest place in the painting, we should use the color at full strength. So I guess I'm just gonna paint super dark, even though he said it should be transparent. 
again, we're just out here trying to have a good time, you know? I would say next time I shouldn't be so ambitious, but this is literally just a piece of cardboard that I'm painting. Um, it didn't turn out great. <laughs> this is exactly where I was looking. I was like painting this portion of it. <sighs> wow. This, this is where we're at. Either way, I mean like, it's supposed to be abstract. I could see that as the uh, the makings of some kind of abstract uh, art. Okay, so I just left my camera to charge. For the last hour, I've just been kind of chilling on my bed, turning my brain off and like going on YouTube. It was great <laughs> um, after using my brain for so long for algorithms. Um, I think now I'm just gonna bake brownies and I'm probably gonna call it there on studying. So yes, let me wrap up by baking some brownies. Today was definitely very studying heavy. Good luck studying for whatever you need to study for. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.